Well, hello there, YouTube. <laughs> I'm just sitting here watching Danny. Welcome to uh, Saturday the 14th of uh, of December. God, can you believe we're almost halfway over already with the last month. Last month of the year. The old street glide. Come out here grabbing something or tink around with something in her in the house. I thought, you know what? I ain't even started the vlog yet today. Of course, Danny comes running out. Oh, he's scratching on something. You guys ever use this Sokolene? Man, this stuff works so good as a prepper and a cleaner. This is a can. I mean, this thing's really old. And uh, you can hear it's barely any left. And uh, for whatever reason, we don't stock it at the store anymore. But uh, Kelly got me a couple of cans. There's the other one in the in the satchel there. I don't know why I got two cans, because it lasts forever. I've got another one. For a while there, they had one that was called Pro Prep 2, and I have that can in my toolbox at work. Ryan comes down, and I don't know why it lasts so long. But man, stuff like, uh, like the, <laughs> I'm just looking... You don't look so clean now, but man, it works so good. Used it a lot with dirt bikes and stuff too for uh, um, preventing dirt from sticking to stuff. And you can spray it on anything. It's just like a it's like a detailer kind of a thing. Works really nice on the black of uh, Harley engines and like dirt bikes that you don't want the mud and gunk to stick to. You spray it on that. But uh, you gotta be really careful. It does cling to disc, so you you want to make sure and tires. You want to make sure you don't uh, get it on that because uh, it it adheres and sticks to it. You can even wipe painted stuff down. We used to use it as a detailer, you know, like the old days when you use pledge in the motorcycle shops, and um, man, just all over the place. But it got really expensive. I don't know if it got overly popular or what happened. But uh, they quit using, letting us use it as a shop supply thing for, for detailing bikes. But these were, I don't know what what my cost was on them, but it wasn't that bad. So maybe the price came back down. Um, I don't know why we don't stock it anymore. We have the all the Motul stuff seems to be popular at the moment, and they have a a thing called oh I've got a can of it. <laughs> Yeah, oh, okay, the um, Sokolene was exactly the same price. But uh, that Shine and Go, I forgot I even had a can of it. But I didn't like it nowhere near as much, like nowhere near as much. So I did a quick little Google search, you know, Pro Prep, Sokolene Pro Prep versus, versus uh, Motul Shine and Go, and overwhelmingly, like, without question, everybody liked the Sokolene Pro Prep. Pro prep better. There's nothing tricky about that word. I don't know. I'm having a hard time speaking it. But Kelly and I have been in there binge watching. She loves watching those, uh, the little funny clip, the little video clips. You know, epic fails and people scaring people. And she likes the, um, you know, the crazy stuff, the drivers and stuff like mostly in Russia, the crazy things they do. She likes those things for some reason. So I can get her to sit down and she'll binge watch with me. God, we did that for a couple hours. That's crazy. <laughs> Man, I was thinking the other day. And I was thinking, what well, was it, about Thursday? I was thinking, man, I am really jonesing to go through and just try to pick a day and just ride everything. Or try to ride everything. Really missing my slim. <laughs> what a weird thing. Hope Indian does something like this with the uh, uh, with that Challenger motor. Whatever I forget what they call the thing. But that'd be cool to make a you know a stripped down bike. That's something else riding these things with a uh, with that just that <laughs> simplistic chassis. It's got so much gumption. Lots and lots of fun. Oh, well, somebody was talking about. You know, I, I mentioned in the video that I wouldn't. I, I mean, I wouldn't trade one of these for a 
for an Indian. It's just personal preference stuff. Just, yeah, just wouldn't do it. I'd love to have that Challenger. I That gray Challenger just pushes all the right buttons for me. And um, somebody, I think somebody even commented, I was talking about trading this thing in. Well, I wasn't serious about it. I uh, I would love to have you know the 2020 Street Glide special. I just love that that dark look that they have going on and the colors that are available. But I doubt I'll do that this year. Really interested in putting the uh, the updated um, audio system in that thing. But man, that thing's 1,900 bucks. That thing is some kind of spendy. And then you have to take it to a dealer. I don't know how, if you could install it and then have the dealer flash it or or what, but it, you have to use digital technician to uh, do some programming when you install it. The old spider, I gave her love not, not too long ago. But this time of year when it's either too cold or, or too wet out, it's hard to get all them rides in. A few and far between. But, you know, you know it's coming each year. You just deal with it. And then you ride, 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 ride when the when the summer comes back. But yeah, I love the, love the old Street Glide. But, yeah, one of the new specials would be really nice. But really not, there's no point in really changing just yet. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. The miles is, are low on it. But um, yeah, I do like that that darked out version. That just looks to me, it just looks so much more appealing. But nothing to take away from this old gal. I still come out here and I'll walk past it every day to take the truck out and go to work. I still look over there and think how proud I am of it. And then you know, with that many miles over all this time, you know, it's over three years now. Um. It's weird to, to ride it, and it feels brand new to me. And then with, um, you know, I never, like I said, I never did give the stock shocks even a chance. But, you know, obviously those Revo A's, man, that's a game changer. Absolute game changer. And then put the touring length shocks on there. Get rid of them squatted out rear shocks. And, man, it just transformed this thing into another motorcycle. And quite a few guys have, have done the same with your street glide, street glides, road glides, whatever, and a overwhelming positive response. It is amazing. You get that, you know, that sag set to one inch and just roll. I played around with the with the damper on there in uh, the stock position too. Just, I always go back to it. You, know, you get it loaded down or two, Kelly and I are on there and, and go to three and it's just still it's it's too much and maybe they just need to get some more break-in time on them or something but very very sensitive adjustment it reminds me of the uh damping adjustment on the Riker rally i mean position one is for kelly um position two is for me and if i leave it at two on her she seat bounces if i leave it on one for me i i feel it bottom out very sen I love it when an adjustment is nice and sen you definitely feel the difference. You get some bikes, you know, like dirt bikes and stuff where there's 26 positions, you know. You just, you seem like you're hunting for the right one all the time. Danny, he just balls up like a cat down there and he will sit, sit there as long as I'm out here. Was I talking about you, Danny? Huh? You've been out there in the mud again, you got crap all over your nose. Goofy old hound dog. Old race stand. I don't know if this was the first one or the one I have at the shop is the first one, which Kurt has pretty much taken over like it was his. But um, I've had those things since the early 80s. But um, this, uh, during on Black Friday, they got a, a deal on these things. They bought a whole bunch of them. And, um, man, I got that thing for next to nothing. Nice aluminum one. It's nice and light. And both of these Honda ones that I that I have, like I say, one's at the shop. I think the one at the shop is slightly taller than this one. 
both of those you know we ordered them and they were in boxes from American Honda that's a genuine Honda part uh, both of them were missing the mats they had mats on there just like these and um, both of them both of them were given to me and I did have a third one again missing the mat because everybody wanted the mat on them and you can see the rivets and everything were there it just the mat wasn't on it came right out of the box that way but I had another one that I I think I left it one of the shops I worked at years ago had a hole in it like this one and the idea behind that is like with dirt bikes and stuff you can reach up and grab the drain plug but you got to use a very small drain pan underneath there to use it these things work great ah, they're the perfect stool <laughs> yeah on rainy days like this all you can think about is going for a ride drives you nuts one of the plans I had for today was to uh, wash the iron, but the, the uh, brakes in the rain were so short that um, I thought, you know, I'm just gonna, it's gonna end up getting wet, sitting out there while, you know, while you're washing it, and then as you're drying it off, it's end up, it'll get wet again, and I end up dragging a wet motorcycle in here. So anyway, I didn't end up doing it. Look, it's still, that thing's got, this camera has a hard time focusing sometimes. Still got probably a couple years <laughs> worth of bugs on there. Poor old iron. That's weird. That's the clean look. That's the dirty look. They just turn gray. And I've been using the Formula F11 on this. And um doesn't put a shine on it. As you can see, it's the same flat as the iron. It just makes the black nice and deep. I love the look at it. I've been thinking about spraying that on the motor too. I guess it's fine to pretty much spray it everywhere except for tires and discs. Should have came out here and just did some detailing. That would have been fun. Sure love that slim. Such a cool bike to ride. I don't know, it's just that freeing back to the basics, back to nature kind of a feeling when you ride it but yet you got that very refined Milwaukee 8 in there it's just phenomenal torque everywhere they just run so good <laughs> it's funny I wonder if anybody that's been like away from Harleys for quite a while and then they hear one of these things run it probably just blows them away it just doesn't I mean it's amazing how much Harley has updated things but yet kept everything looking the same and then you got the simple people that you know are nothing but internet warriors they don't think they've changed anything since the 40s oh man the power of ignorance yeah buddy she's a nice one well hello there youtube <laughs> on this quiet other car passing by out there nice quiet your Christmas lights, you got blue on top of your head. Oh, I do. My Harley hat's blue. <laughs> got all kinds of mixtures of light going on at, yeah. out here today. Heck yeah. It's very peaceful. Tis the season. Now a truck's going to go by. Of course. Absolute silence out, out here until I turn that camera on. It's kind of like the dogs. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's when the dogs come crawling up, start making a bunch of racket. Mm-hmm. Now, if you didn't have the camera... Stone silent. Oh yeah, you could probably sit here an hour. Not yeah. a single car would go by. It's gotta be a loud truck. Sounds like something following it as well. Yeah, probably a trailer. Yeah. Oh, they got races. Why wow, they'd be going home by now if they had races yeah. out there at Riverdale. But uh, yeah, that's nice, quiet, wet day today yes very wet all day freaks annie and sasha out they don't know what to do with themselves they want to go outside you take them out it's raining they want well sasha wants to go back outside. in yeah. annie doesn't care she literally stand there in the rain and does not care nope stands in the mud goes yeah it's all good yeah and she's happy as in fact where we we keep her out of the mud when it's all rainy and uh there's no place for her to go to get out of the rain yeah. and she don't care no, she'll just sit there in the middle of yeah. her, like, area. And she just walks around, sniffs around, checks things out. 
There's no place for her to get out of the rain. I, she could lean against the shop and probably get yeah. if it started really pouring, but she don't they care. bark when they're ready and yeah. Sashi barks so right she get, away. Yeah. And he goes, no, I'm good. She gets up on that bench by the shop door and just leans against the wall. And just sits there like, <laughs> oh, I'm so pitiful. She goes, if I don't move, the rain won't get me. I know it. She's so pretty. Yeah. She's a funny little girl. Mm-hmm. You know, wondering about Lily's crashed out in his old ragged out chair. That's Danny itching his neck. Yeah, with his rattly collar. Yeah, they always have that the collar. No matter what collar you put on a dog, it always seems to bother him. You know, you yeah, it's always an itch under the collar. Exactly. And if you scratch them around there, they just go, Oh God, yeah. Oh yeah, under here, Don't right stop. here, right under the collar, right under the collar. <laughs> <laughs> Goofballs. They are silly. Did you have a nice relaxing day today? I did, I did. Yeah. It just kind of chill. chill. They just got away from us and thinking, oh, have I filmed today? I go, um, walk around in the shop. I think that's about all I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, it's just one of them days. Yeah, kickback vlog day. Didn't go anywhere. No plans to go anywhere. I was thinking about washing the iron, but the rain, just like I was saying earlier today, just never a gap in the rain long enough. I'd get wet. The bike would get wet as I'm trying to wash it. And, and just it's just cold mess. and miserable. Yeah. You know, that wouldn't get me out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mom and I watched some those fail videos just oh. laughing hysterically. Oh, some of them are so funny. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh. Some of them you go, ooh, that had to yeah. hurt. <laughs> but, oh. yep. There's some gives you ideas going. Oh, I'm so going to do that to Yeah, Sean. it gives her pranking ideas, which mm -hmm. is not cool. It is cool because it's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that stuff out of your mind, woman. Oop, I know. I'm going to kick you right in the schnauzer there, Danny. I just got to come up with, like, the film. Because you guys miss it all the time. Because I get him good, but I don't have a camera. You yeah, know, we, film it, I we just never get seem him. to film him anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mama... I think we probably put them to sleep today, or at least sure. I did, with my droning out there in the shop and sitting out here BSing. Yeah. Just one of them <laughs> days. Yeah. That was cool. Got lots of sleep last night. Didn't Which is to... good. You needed it. Ah, boy. It's one of those weeks where you just kind of can't get caught up, you know? And then it catches up with you. Yeah. Caught up. Caught up last night. Boy, yeah. I fought building that video so bad last night. And like, last time I looked up, it was like, I don't know, 10 after midnight or somewhere around there. Then I woke up at 5.30 this morning, finished it up, turned it live, and then went back to bed. I never go back to bed once I get up in the morning. Yeah. I was tired enough this morning. I said, that's it. I'm going back to bed. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I'm glad you did. But anyway, so I don't stay up late and do that again tonight. We better roll. Yeah. All right. Let them go. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. So we'll see you tomorrow. You guys take care. See you on sunny, sunny Sunday. Yeah, it's we, actually we supposed to be kind of nice. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, nice. All right. Maybe I will see you on sunny Sunday. Yeah. All right. You guys take care. See you then now. Bye. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.